Very special panelists for this bout, ladies and gentlemen. We have Rika Baby Dynamite Aquino, who just won via TKO earlier. Rika, congratulations on your win. This is going to be between Giselle Trinidad versus Jemson Francisco. Thank you, thank you, Franco. No? Um, I feel at home both inside the ring and here in the commentary table. In the, in the table. commentary booth, nakita naman, hardworking, <laughs> masyado si Rika, masyado dedicated sa boxing. Yes, of course. And uh, yun na nga, no? you had the exciting bouts uh, this morning. No? Each bout delivered talaga. Tsaka, no? And... Uh, very notable yung early bouts eh, yeah. your bout included mm -hmm. ended in TKO victories so yes. ang bilis nung pace nung fight card na to mm -hmm. tama mo, tama no? oh, diba <laughs> we're already at the 8th bout yes. this is between Jazil Trinidad from Palawan versus Jemson Francisco from Hearthstone Moniz La Union both fighters mm -hmm. meeting both. at the center at the center of the ring Trinidad is wearing white trunks with gold trim while Jazil uh, Jemson Francisco is wearing red trunks with blue trim. Mm -hmm. wow. Jazil Trinidad is undefeated, pala, no? Mm -hmm. With two knockouts. And so far, Trinidad is getting the better of the exchanges. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, uh, I mean, wala masyadong height or reach advantage sa dalawang to. They're yeah. seemingly identical. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Francisco is trying to push, ano? he's trying to create distance, tignan mo. Kasi mm -hmm. doon niya nagagawa yung mga suntok na ideal para sa kanya. Mm -hmm. Definitely waiting for Trinidad to... Definitely waiting for Trinidad to come in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now Francisco has Trinidad pinned against the ropes. Let's see what he is capable of doing there. Jazil is very engaging here. Medyo talagang ano eh. Mm -hmm. Nakikita gamer pareho tong mga manlalaro natin. Eh. Oo naman. Kasi Palawan, ang dami rin magagaling dyan. Including uh, Gretchen Abaniel is from mm -hmm. Palawan. Hearthstone Monis man has also produced a lot of uh, great boxers as well. And speaking of Hearthstone Monis, that was a really good hook there by Jamon Francisco. Jemson Francisco pala. Yes. Tama ka no, partner. That was a, identical talaga. Oh, di ba? And that was a lead hook by Francisco hitting the button of Trinidad. And so far, Trinidad's been taking punches to the face and medyo yeah. iniinda naman niya. Parang steady lang siya, di ba? Mm -hmm. Ayam kaya. Block, block. Tapos uh, stays in the pocket to easily counter. You know, he stays inside the counter. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Good exchange here by both fighters. That was a strong, ano, no? strong last few seconds mm. by Jameson Francisco partner. Oh, oh. And that is seemingly a good strategy. That is a good strategy, especially coming into a six-round fight. As, yeah. as much as possible, you have to take advantage of the last 10 seconds. Maka maya maya, jaka maka silat niya. Tama. But itong si Trinidad magaling yung kanyang hook, no? When he's trying to pivot out. Kasi yung mga wild din itong si uh, Jameson eh. Ayan, no? Ayan, no? Counter on siya. Diba? Every time Jameson steps in, Trinidad is ready to counter. Exactly. Diba? He's not, he's not being reckless, diba? He's not... He's not getting lured into exchanges. Yes. And as we approach the second round of a scheduled six-round fight in the super flyweight division between Jazil Trinidad and Jemson Francisco. Trinidad is from Palawan. Francisco is from La Union. Both fighters meet at the center of the ring. Trinidad opens with a jab, countered by a jab straight by Francisco. Snappier punches na itong oh, second round. Partner. Second round, di ba? Normally, yeah. yung first round talaga, feeling out round yun. Yeah. Eh. By the second round, this is where both mm -hmm. fighters are starting to deploy yung game plan nila. Exactly. Di ba? Mas, uh -oh. Makikita mo, mas sumasakit na yung mga sunto. Mm -hmm. Itong si Trinidad has some, uh, yun nga yun, sa kanyang accuracy, itong si Francisco has the volume. Mm -hmm. And good strategy here by Francisco in terms of 
aggression, diba? he makes sure that he moves forward and then pins Trinidad against the ropes. However, in that particular sequence, Trinidad was the, the heavier puncher. Medyo napaatras si Francisco doon. But yeah. very good decision by Trinidad not to swarm. Kasi makamaya maya, siya pa madali doon. Partner. Itong si Trinidad picks his punches, makes sure it's accurate, lands on the target. Good body shots there by Trinidad. Lead hook na naman by Francisco. So far, Francisco has thrown three lead hooks mm -hmm. since the first round na pumapasok sa panga ni Trinidad. Yes. Be careful lang with that. Ano? I mean, uh, this is still a six-round bout. Ano? So oh. Anything can happen. But good uh, exchanges between these two. No? Talagang, uh, yung bato ng isa tinatapatan din naman oh. yung isa. Eh. Good give and take by both fighters here. Good uppercut by Trinidad. Short stab hook by Francisco. Yeah. Good shot to the temple partner. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm, oh, that wow. was a good hook there. Let's see what the referee will... The side is it a knockdown? I have it. It's a slip. It's a slip. But that Ooh, lead straight. Sure. Lead straight by Trinidad. Mm. Alam mo ito. Tama yung ginagawa ni Trinidad. He should do more feints to bait uh, Francisco to come in and make mistakes, you know, partner. There you go. Nakuha na niya. Eh. Nahuli na niya. And speaking of nahuli niya na, sa according to. Rika, pasok na pasok. Lahat ng sinabi ni Rika kanina, nangyayari na ngayon. As you can see in your screens, ladies and gentlemen, good counter-punching by Trinidad. He definitely has Francisco's number. However, it's now, it's on Francisco's intent na ngayon kung ano bang gagawin niya doon. Kasi ang ganda ng depensa ni Trinidad dito eh. Very tight guard, you know, very, very mobile upper body. Mm. Good lead straight there by Francisco. Counter hook by Trinidad. Now Trinidad is attacking the body. Good round end two. of the round one. Oh, round, <laughs> round two is in the books. Yeah. Of course, no? Partner, ito sa ating uh, I'm not sure if I'm correct, no? but a, a new addition to our hearts is a ring girl. <laughs> oh, meron na, meron, meron na. Kung <laughs> malalamang main bouts ni, may ring girl yeah, na. Oh. You are watching highlights of the previous yeah. round. Medyo, yun nga, medyo slip nga yun. Seconds are being instructed to go down. This is round number three of a scheduled six-round fight between Jazil Trinidad of Palawan versus Jemson Francisco from Hardstone Muniz, La Union. Trinidad is in the white trunks while Francisco is the, in the red trunks. Let's see, partner, how they adjust to the third round. And that was an interesting second round. Kasi, no? And mukhang nag adjust si Trinidad ngayon by utilizing his jab more. Diba? Yeah. That, yung, the, the first two rounds, medyo infighting sila pareho eh. This time, nitignan niya ano mong magiging reaction ni Francisco kung babato siya ng babato ng jabs. Yes. Good uppercut there by Trinidad. Finished with a hook. Francisco still working on the body. He's still fighting on the inside. Mm. Should be worried though. I mean, uh, I know condition-condition sila pareho. Mm. That's kind of tiring. Yung punch na hindi directly to Matama. It's mm. just barely grazing. Oh, oh. Diba? Yun yung mga unmute, yun yung mga ex energy expenditure na oh, oh. medyo sayang. Exactly. Pero partner, so mm. far, every time na po, that every time that Francisco tries to go inside, mm. pumapasok yung mga check hook ni Trinidad. Exactly. Diba? So, oh, what oh. do you think would be a good strategy for Francisco to defend that? Um, if he wants to come in, he definitely has to have a tight guard partner. Mm. And, you know, um, after that, the check hook, he should have a ready counter. Oh, speaking of the check hook, he's already checked out. He's Trinidad. He's mm. already Or maybe uh, Francisco uh, 
should utilize some feints, ano? Mm. Para din to, to create some some confusion kay, kay Trinidad. Kasi so far, nababasa siya ni Trinidad. He knows, he knows how, to, how to catch him with that uh, left check hook. Ayun, and so far, Trinidad has better rhythm in this round. Exactly. Diba? He's more composed. Mm -hmm. He's more confident. Every yeah. time na, na he tries to go inside, he knows na... More or less, he can intercept where Francisco is going. Yeah. Francisco naman cannot afford to be very reckless here. Mo exactly. Yung nga siya sabi namin, Alvin, kanina, mukhang naririnig nila kung paano tayo nagsasalita <laughs> dito. Kanina sabi mo, he needs to keep his guard up. Nag-aas yeah. ng kamay si Francisco kanina. Mm -hmm. Where everyone who's just watched, who, who just tuned in, this is oh, a six-round fight between Jazil Trinidad versus Jemson Francisco. This is Franco Rolioda. Joining me is TKO victory winner Rika Aquino. Yes, hello. From the hello, ring everybody. to the commentary. Ito po. Ganito po siya kasipag. Yes, yeah, so habang nandito na rin tayo, partner. I mean, yeah. Yeah, ba? while we're here, let's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, ba? Oh, galawa na natin lahat ng mga... Oh, ano, that was a good uppercut by Trinidad. We're kind of uh, a few feet away from the ring, but you know, I'm seeing some uh, a little bit of swelling on the part of uh, Francisco. And that and that speaks to the volume of punches that he's been getting from Trinidad. Yeah. But watching the replay, no, definitely uh, Francisco also had some good. Uh, um, punches no na pumasok dito sa round na ito no if he just keeps his uh, um, uh, inside fighting a little bit tighter partner I think yun nga mas nadami yung mga suntok na papasok ano? right now it's a little bit wild yeah definitely and Trinidad was just waiting for Francisco to step in yeah. kasi more or less dun yung nakikita na every time Francisco steps in he wants to wallop his punches yes. so every time someone wallops their punches bumababa talaga yung kamay kasi yeah. nagwa-wind up yun eh yun yung hinihintay niya exactly you know? and he's kind of like nababasa na niya yung body language mo mm -hmm. okay medyo momentary low blow tingnan natin Yep, injury time called by the referee. This is round four of a scheduled six-round fight between Jazil Trinidad versus Jemson Francisco. Trinidad is from Palawan. Francisco is from Hard Muniz. Hardstone Muniz. Michael Das Mourinho's. Tapos kanina si RJ Recopilacion. That was a really good fight. Francisco deploring a lot of infighting. However, Trinidad, okay, pri and as previously stated by my partner here, every time Francisco steps in, Trinidad is ready to counter. And more than anything, I think Trinidad has Francisco's timing. Sin, ano na, medyo... We, you know, every punch is every every punch is calculated. Every every punch thrown is efficient and effective. Mm. So, talagang ano, medyo. It's safe to say he has his number. Yeah. Right? Trinidad has Francisco's number. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter now for Francisco to adjust. Eh, right? yung mga mid fight adjustments, yun yung importante. Tulad na rin, di ba? Ako. Talagang i-exploit ko yung pagkakataon ng mga mid-fight adjustments ni Rika kanina. Second round, body shots. Mm -hmm. diba? Went to the midsection. How does it feel to go back inside the ring once again, Rika? <laughs> Feels great. I mean, everything about it. Uh, I love actually everything about boxing. And yun na nga, no? So, kung matikman mo na actually pumasok sa lona, it's gonna be tuloy-tuloy <laughs> na yan, eh. Tsaka kanina, nakita nga namin ni, ni Alvin. Mm -hmm. Sinapa ka ng dalawa. Uh -oh. Diretso lang yung mukha mo, napangiti ka pa eh. Tapos sabi ko, okay. Di ba? Di ba? You can all go back to the replay and we said, okay, Rika's got her groove now. She she has momentum, di ba? Good welcome back to punches. Then start, let's go to work. The same way that both fighters right now are getting into their groove and 
proving their worth. Trinidad is definitely, you know, steady patient. Ayon Francisco's being the aggressor, trying to catch up. But he has to be very wary because Trinidad is deploring a really good counter punching. Exactly, and yun nga, he has this habit of putting his head down when he's trying to pressure mm. itong si Trinidad. You know? And speaking of putting his head down, he also put his hand down. Yun. So na check hook na naman siya dun. Trinidad has been really, really successful with that check hook. And as mm. what my partner said kanina, it's already creating a swelling dun sa mukha ni Francisco. Wow. Now, partner, if you're in Jameson Francisco's corner, if you're the coach, what would be a good strategy leading to the fifth round? Well, I love how he executes uh, pressure, you know, pressure fighting, trying to, to cut the distance between uh, him and Trinidad. But then again, he has to keep his head up. Ano? Hindi niya nakikita kasi. He has to see the target. Um, yun nga, bumabato siya ng mga suntok pinsan na eh. hindi tumatama. Yun yung kailangan niyang ma... Uh, ayun, yun eh. Yung mga suntok yun, Exactly. Yung sinabi ni Rika kanina, uh, you're watching it in front of your screens. Exactly. Diba? Oh. He keeps throwing punches. Normally, ito yung mga subtle movements ng mga yeah. fighters na pagbabato. Exactly. Minsan, napapatingin sila sa sahig. Eh. Diba? Pag napatingin sila sa sahig, medyo hindi na nila nakikita. Maya-maya pala, nag-pivot na yung kalaban nila. Exactly, partner. You are right. And round, ito na round five of a scheduled six round fight between Jazil Trinidad versus Jemson Francisco. Yun nga, and also utilize feints na ginagawa na niya ngayon. Oo. Oh. Yeah, tingin ko talaga may microphones dun sa ano eh, or may earpiece sila dun sa mga corners. Naririnig nila kung ano yung sinasabi namin dito eh. I mean, he has to come in with a plan. Mm -hmm. eh, hindi pwede yung mapasok tapos untok ng uh, marami. Siyempre, yeah, you, when you come in, you know uh, that uh, Trinidad that is, is ready. a good uh, counter puncher. No? So you have to have a plan when you come in. So far, medyo meron tayong nakikitang reversal of roles dito. Trinidad yeah. now is the aggressor. Mm -hmm. Francisco, siguro, siguro, gusto kasi ni Francisco yung infighting. Mm -hmm. So now I think he wants to lure Trinidad in yeah. and see what happens. Kasi in the first few rounds, siya yung pumapasok and every time that he wants to go in, kumakain siya ng suntok eh. Tama. So siguro yun yung adjustment nila ngayon. Exactly. And here, no, we're, we're seeing him a little bit more light on his feet ngayon. Mm -hmm. Jabbing, he's trying to. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see, let's see, no? What he's got in mind. Good jab straight there by Trinidad. Straight flush to the face of Jemson Francisco. Mm. You know, that hook, no? Beautiful mm. uh, uh, hook uh, and then pivot to the outside. Lead straight by Trinidad. Now he finishes off with an uppercut to the midsection and a hook to the face. Yes. And true to what Rika said kanina, the problem with Jemson is he's not in his hands. He's not in his pivot. He's not practicing lateral movement. Mm. Diba? It's prob he probably wants to go fight in the pocket. But it's a lot of people who are going to be able to get the most of the time. And you know, uh, fighting inside the pocket is something that I like too. No, mm -hmm. being a smaller fighter. But then again, when you're on the inside, mahirap kasi yun nga, you're prone to to counters. Uh, me myself, ano na tatamaan din ako kapag ganyan. So. Uh, and speaking of counters, that's exactly what Trinidad did in this particular yes. sequence. Francisco was trying to move in, and mm -hmm. while he was moving in, diba, Trinidad pivoted to his right, and then finished it off with two uppercuts and a hook to the face. Lead straight there by Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Two more uppercuts by Trinidad. Hook to the body by Francisco. So, so far, we've counted seven punches by Trinidad to three punches by Francisco. Um, <laughs> wow. 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 Ano lang din niya, practice lang din, practice. Yeah. It just so happens lang din na uh, yung mga panelists nyo po ngayon ay mga punksinyero din. Kaya medyo nakikita po namin yung mga maliliit na nuances na gano'n. Yeah, that was a good 
tawag na no, no? That's a good parang hybrid jab na hook. Oh, oh. That, that's it, ano? That has good timing, good distance. Itong si Jameson has a good heart, very, very aggressive. Matibay. Most definitely, we're not taking away anything from Jameson Francisco. However, mm. diba, he needs to channel that type of aggression and toughness into something productive. Diba? Kasi hindi pwedeng tibay sige, diba? tibay puso, tibay yeah. game. Pero, Diba? Everyone knows you're a gamer, but you're technically gonna you're gonna lose a fight that way. Yeah. If you're not very, if you're not very, very strategic, if you're not gonna be tactical. This is the final round of a six-round fight between Giselle Trinidad versus Jameson Francisco. Trinidad is in the white trunks. Francisco is in the red. Mm. Good what? exchanges so far, partner. Exactly. Oh, that was a good hook again to the face by Trinidad. Alam mo, one thing's for sure, grabe ang gas tank nitong dalawang boxers na ito. Uh, you don't see any waning, ano, or oh, the tapering. Pace, oh, the oh. pace is amazing. Yeah. Kita mo, no, pang, pang sixth round na tayo, bumabato pa rin sila ng mga paapat na suntok, apat, lima. And partner, you said this at the third round mm. na kailangan bukod sa nakataas dapat yung kamay ni Francisco dapat nakatingin siya sa harap nakatingin siya sa taas yeah. so mm. far yung mga hooks na kinakain niya is because bumabato siya Yan. ng suntok oh, oh. at nakatingin siya sa sahig yeah. di ba? look exactly. at that sequence he's gonna, he's gonna go inside every time he throws an overhand makikita mo yung ulo niya tumutungo yeah. pa baba exactly um, I should know kasi may habit akong ganyan. <laughs> when I when I weave and then when I bob, minsan yung yung ulo ko masyadong oh, gumagalaw eh. Ano naman yun eh? Natural. Mm. Sabihin na nating natural movement siya. Yeah. Diba? Or parang mm. by instinct. Diba? Pero at this particular at this particular point in the fight, diba? if you want to if you want to like score something, diba? if you yeah, want to make exactly. something happen, mm -hmm. you can't allow Trinidad to do those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ilang, ilang beses na pumapasok yung mga lead straights niya. Mm -hmm. Jab straight again by Trinidad, finish with the hook. Good, good, good. In, uh, good the reaction ano, by Trinidad. He knows when to react, he knows how to react. He just needs to change his movements, eh. Kasi minsan nagiging reactive na lang, eh, di ba? It's either, he doesn't know, he doesn't know if he needs to step forward or he needs to punch first. You know, tulad in that particular sequence, di ba? He wants to bridge that gap, di ba? He wants to bridge that gap, he wants to fight in the pocket, but as with any infighter, you have to set it up, di ba? You have to move in with the jab, di ba? Diba? Kaya mag-lead straight ka, mag-lead hook ka. The moment you cover that distance, saka ka pumukpok. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And also, it, it avoids him being pinned to the ropes then mm -hmm. that way. Both fighters meet at the center of the ring. We are at a minute and a half, approaching minute and a half of the final round. The energy level written in that part now, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. It's crisp, crisp punching. Oh. Buhay na buhay pa rin. Exactly. Very, very... Yung kanyang uh, hand speed, ano, nandun pa rin. Kanina pa pumapasok yung mga sneaky lead hooks na yun ni Trinidad. Mm. But ito, no? Ayan. Ay Good exchange from both fighters. Wow. wow! That is how you end the fight. Grabe yun. Grabe yung sequence na yun. What a fight, no? What heart from both these boxers partners. Good performance by Trinidad. Yes. Amazing determination and pressure by Francisco. Medyo, yun yung medyo doon ako nakukulangan kay Francisco. Okay yung tapang, okay yung... Tsaka yung pagtanggap niya ng suntok, alam mo, yeah. durable fighter ito eh. However, di ba, points for, ano, di ba, points, pointers when he goes back to the gym, di ba? Yeah. Di ba, proper setup. About proper distance management and then every time every time that you step in yeah. but you have to make sure that your hands are up you know where you are you know where your opponent is about better recognition na lang talaga, spatial awareness na lang. Oh, look at the target and all target talaga. but all good very very entertaining fight I'm 
pressure sa mga boxing uh, aficionado sa Noy, sa ito sa mga fights na talagang uh, na-entertain kayo. Nice. That was a really good fight. Pinapashoutout ni Coach Kim Boydangan si Ma'am Nika Pendon, Kalet Francisco, and Paulen Solis. Again, pinapashoutout po. Nika Pendon, Kalet Francisco, and Paulen Solis. Maraming salamat, Coach. Thank you po. Maraming salamat. Jazel Trinidad wins by a unanimous decision against Jameson Francisco. Good, good, good uh, performance by both boxers. But yun na nga, no? accuracy, um, management of distance at the end of the day, Yun, yun ang, yun ang edge ni uh, Trinidad. We are live at the Elorde Grand Ballroom here in Paranaque via Elorde TV. Yes. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. Also, please follow Rika Aquino of Baby Dynamite Sports on Facebook, Rika Thank Aquino you. on Instagram. At meron na rin po siyang TikTok na buyo po namin siya magka-TikTok. <laughs> so, follow her on TikTok Thank as well. Thank you. And of course, yun nga, yung, yung page din and Coach Franco. Tama? Yes, Coach, Coach Franco, Franco Rullyoda on Facebook. Ah, nako, nag-iba na and, lang name. Tama? Oh, and YouTube, Coach Franco Rullyoda. Para isa na lang lahat. Isa na lang lahat. <laughs> Madaling tandaan. Madaling iba. tandaan. Wow, very of my partner, mga kaboxing at mga ka-dynamite. Ito na po yung kanina nyo pa tinatanong ng mga laban. <laughs> This is Roland J. Biendima versus Joel Taduran. Fan favorite pa ito. Uh, kanina, marami po mong marami ng partner. Marami nagtatanong kanina kung kailan daw yung laban ni Biendima. <laughs> Yeah. 